Morning. Hello. Morning, guys. Couple minutes to get settled in. Welcome everybody. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome, welcome. morning. Great way to start off this Saturday. Happy to have you all join me. Awesome. So just as people start to arrive, I'll go over a couple things, you know, just the reminders, the usual stuff. So of course, you'll want a yoga mat for today. Uh, you will also perhaps have some water around. Hey, good morning. Um, you are also going to need a chair for today. So something to act as your bar. This is a bar fusion class this morning, this Saturday. With that, you might have a couple of hand weights. Um, if you have a resistance band, cool. Whatever you might have around. Morning. And if you don't have weights and you really want to do some of that stuff, soup cans, my friends. So grab some now. <laughs> Uh, be careful when holding on to them. We got a couple more minutes before we start things off. Welcome. Thanks for joining me Saturday morning. Morning, good morning. So just a reminder, of course, comments are on right now. Uh, once we get through our warm-up, I'm going to turn the comments off. So please don't be shy if you have any quick questions to go through right now, um, or especially music, too loud, too low, let me know. This is our space to share. <laughs> so don't be shy. Awesome. Good morning, everybody. So there's just about another minute before I officially get us rolling here for our bar fusion. Hey, good morning. So again, since we have a couple more people that have arrived, just gonna remind you all about having your yoga mat, your bottle of water, maybe a sweat towel too is nice. And today you will want a chair maybe a stool, maybe you have a countertop with some good space around it, whatever it is so that you can pretend that we are at the ballet bar. And of course, if you have some hand weights, you have resistance bands, if you have that extra stuff, you can bring it in, you can use it. And if you don't, that's just fine. Awesome. Alrighty. We are going to officially go ahead. Again, remember uh, with those reminders, so we are doing our best to stay afar and stay connected and just keep checking out those local yoga studios on their Instagrams, wherever they're available. Maybe you're getting emails um, because we have some awesome supplements that you can get with a discount, stay healthy and support local at the same time. So let's go ahead and get things moving for our class this morning. Uh, perhaps you recognize me, maybe not. So my name is Taylor and I am here to lead you through a 45 minute bar fusion. Quick sort of recap about bar if you've never done it. Um, you have half of the class to be at your bar, your chair this morning, all those sort of ballet exercises. And then the next half of the class, we get down onto the mat, we start to focus more on some core and we add in some arm stuff. So most of this is going to be done without the use of weights and bands, but if you have them, it's just gonna make things maybe a little more crazy for you. 
So with that said, there's a couple things for me to read over. Um, so this class is coming to you from all of Oxygen Yoga and Fitness Studios in the GTA, helping you stay fit and healthy while staying safe in the comfort of your own home. You can share this class now with a friend using the share icon below. Some important housekeeping that I've got to go over, and that is this class is a copyright of Oxygen Yoga and Fitness and its associated companies. This class cannot be recorded or reproduced in any way. And since we are not able to monitor your health prior to or in class, if you are showing any signs of feeling unwell, we urge you to not continue the class and to seek medical attention. We ask you to monitor your surroundings prior to starting class and during to also avoid injury or harm. So please see the release of liability and waiver of claims, assumptions of risk and indemnity agreement. There is a link to this in the comments below. By participating in this workshop, you agree to waive certain legal rights. Certain, sorry, <laughs> certain legal rights, uh, including the right to sue. So please read this carefully before you start. Uh, remembering that when you uh, are participating in the class, that's just straight away going to get you um, that, that agreement. So I'm just adding this in here. Bear with me, friends. It wouldn't be me unless I had some sort of technology malfunction. So with all that, we are just about to get started. So if you'd like to come to sit on your mat, I'm just going to finish popping in this information in the comments about that uh, indemnity and all that sort of legal jargon. And then we're going to go ahead and get started on our bar fusion. So please again, let me know if music is ever too loud or too soft in these comments. Last good morning to you all before I start really pumping us up. So let's come to sit on our mat for today. Find a nice comfortable spot and just hang out for a couple breaths. Allow yourself to start to check in on the breath and just keep it natural to start. Take a few moments to check in, notice how you're feeling. Not changing anything yet not judging the thoughts that might come up and not worrying about the emotions that you're feeling. Just simply becoming aware and accepting. Once you start to turn your focus into the breath, you'll start to deepen that breath, allowing yourself to find your center before we really get things going. So taking nice big inhales in through the nose, and full exhales out through the nose. You might even find that ocean breath if you have that in your yoga practice. Really lengthening out the inhales, filling the belly up, and taking the same amount of time to empty out. Allowing these next couple breaths to help you find your calm, find your stillness, to arrive for the class, to arrive on your mat, and really just allow this time for yourself to stay present, to be in the moment, and just allow yourself to give everything you have for this class. Take one more big inhale in through the nose, and exhale out through the nose. From here in your seat, take an inhale in through the nose, and you are more than welcome to open the mouth and sigh it out. Beautiful, let's add a little bit of movement before we come up to stand. Just in your seat here, taking the hands onto your knees and finding a couple cat cows in our seat, keeping the sit bones connected, using your inhale just like we would normally to open the heart forward and take your gaze up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, really round the spine, tuck through the tailbone, round your shoulders, maybe look towards your belly button. Couple more, inhale, open the heart. And exhale, round, find that seated cat. Last one, inhale. 
and exhale, round it through. Come back, neutral spine, and we'll take one little twist, because I'm a big fan of twists, detoxing the body. Bring your left palm onto your right knee, your right hand back behind you. Use an inhale, grow through the crown of your head, and as you exhale, really start to twist towards that right side, opening the right shoulder back. Maybe we can take our gaze towards that shoulder. Maybe not quite over. That's okay. We're not warm yet. And then use one inhale to find yourself back to center. And let's switch sides. Take your right hand onto the left knee. Left hand back behind you. Inhale first. Lengthen and exhale. Find that twist to the left side. Open back. Left shoulder. Taking your gaze as far back as the neck allows. And then finding your next inhale to find your way back through center. And perhaps you'd like a sip of water at this point. And then when you are ready to get started, we are going to come up into a standing position and we are going to start our bar warm up. So you'll start facing the chair again. Please let me know in the comments. I'll keep checking how the music is. I'm going to pump it up now. We are really going to get going this Saturday morning. couple reminders to talk to you about with bar. So when I say first position, real simple, just taking both heels together, toes to point out to make a shape of a pizza. And of course, when we have one foot on the floor, one leg up, lift the toes of your supporting leg, help support that bottom leg's knee. And any time that we are really, really high on our toes with both feet parallel on the ground, you're going to stack your heels as high as you can so that we can again protect our knees. And I'll remind you as we go. So let's start by facing the bar. You are going to find that first position with your feet, heels together, toes point out. Tall spine, belly in, shoulders back. We're all dancers now. And all we're taking is a releve. So heels come up as high as you can and lower down. But we are going to move fast and we have 50. Up, down, up, down. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe your feet can barely just hit the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, two, three, four, five. Go higher. Seven, eight. Keep that tall spine the whole time. Ten, four, two, three. Don't give up now. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, higher with those heels. Ten, ten, nine, eight. Yeah, you've got it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Take those heels onto the floor. We are taking what is called second position, maybe goddess to you. Feet will come about mat distance, still facing the bar, hands lightly rest. We are coming up with a combo. We go four times slow, 20 times one beat per count, okay? Looks like this. Bend the knees, raise the heels, take the heels down, and straighten the legs. So four times slow, we'll get that movement and go 20 times fast. If you get lost, you'll figure it out. Just raise those heels, bend those knees. Five, six, seven, eight. Bend, heels, lower, and straighten. Two, heels, lower, and straighten. Three, heels, lower, straighten. Four, here we go. Take it fast. One, up, down, up. Two, three, four, five, six, big bend. Seven, eight, make sure you're breathing. Nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, yeah, you can. Seven, high as you can with those heels. Six, five, four, tall spine, two, one. Beautiful. Straighten up those legs. Let's take ourselves into a nice little releve on one foot. So I just changed bar positions. You stay where you are. We are still going to face the bar. You can start in that first position. Left foot will stay on the floor. Right leg, take it out just to raise out to the side. Point the toe, we're dancers. And all we're doing is raising our left heel. 
We only have 30. Up, down, up, down. Don't take that right leg any lower. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Point those toes. Nine, ten. Two, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Higher with that right leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Take it down. We're going to start both hands on bar, leaning forward, body at a 45, a little softness in the knees. Taking first position, heels together. Right leg will come back behind you, arabesque fly. Tall spine the whole time, don't start to bend. Right leg goes up and down, quick. Back down, back down. Just as high as you can lift, you sweep the floor and point that toe as soon as it leaves the ground. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, keep the hips square. Eight, nine, ten. Two, two. You should feel that warmth creeping in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, finish strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Keeping your left foot forward, we're starting in a curtsy squat. Right foot to step back, a little bit staggered. Big bend in both knees, get low. Take right knee into the shoulder. Down and knee. Five, six, seven, eight. One. Knee. Two. Knee. Three. Get low. Five. Six. Higher with that knee. Keep it moving. Nine. Ten. Two. Hands lightly on the bar. This is all from the legs. Lower, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, yeah, you can, four, three, two, one, beautiful. Come back to face your bar, and we'll go on to the left side right away. This is warm up. We're almost through, and you get a sip of water. Hands lightly on the bar. You might want to take right leg a little more center. Left leg comes out. Point the toes. Hold the leg up as high as you can. Lift that right heel. Up, down, up, down. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you can. Nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. We're taking that arabesque fly. A little softness in the knees. Lean forward, body almost at a 45. Squeeze the belly in. Back stays flat, tall spine. Left leg back behind you. Hips are square. Point that toe. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two. Point the toe. Three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's get right into that curtsy squat and a knee to left shoulder. Right foot forward. Let's finish strong. Step it back. Stagger the, the stance. Get really low like you know you can. And then left knee up. Here we go. Right foot forward. Five, six, seven, eight. Down, knee. Two, three, four, 
Long spine the whole time. Yes. Higher with that knee. Eight. Nine. Ten. Stay controlled. Two. Big breaths. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Comments will be turned off shortly. Let's get this going. Ten. Knee. Nine. Eight. Seven. Finish that warm up nice and strong. Six. Five. Four. Lower than you want to go. Two. One. Beautiful. Nice work. Take a sip of water. Awesome, thank you. Take a sip of water, give yourself a moment, and we are going to continue on with our bar. So for this one, if you have a resistance band, you might like to place it around the thighs, if it's available to you. What we are taking, is a bear in the air. We'll start with our right foot forward, left toes back, high on the toes. Both knees, both legs are at 90-90. Body comes into a 45 when we get low. We're gonna try and keep the bend in the right knee, and this is where the band comes in, okay? So we lunge, bear low, and then raise that left leg back behind you. Squeeze the glute. Down, lift, down, lift. If you don't have a band, still going to be very effective, okay? So that's just an option if it's there. Let's get moving. Find that bear shape. Right foot forward, tall spine. Let's start a little bit low and then get real deep. Hands lightly on bar. Five, six, seven, eight, low, left, low, raise. Three, raise. Four, point the toe, low, five, Six, seven, take that left knee just to hover. Ten, two, I know, two, watch that front knee. Four, five, six, seven, high with that left leg, high as you can go. Keep breathing, ten. One. Beautiful. Come up to stand. Give yourself a little shake out. What we're doing next, you'll take your right hand onto the bar so that we have some space with our left leg. It's going to keep moving. Very similar, a little different. We'll find our chair. Toes to touch, space between the heels. Hand gets super low. Bend in the knees. When you come back to rise up, take a side leg lift, bat ma, with your left leg. Out at about 45, knee to ceiling, point those toes. Let's get moving. Get those toes to touch, space between the heels. Start standing. Level one, hand on hip. Level two, take it out in front, shoulder height. Level three, all the way up to the sky, raise that heart rate. Five, six, seven, eight. Chair, left leg lift, down, lift. Three, four, five, six. It's as high as you can get the leg while keeping that tall spine. Ten, point the to toe. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep that chest lifted. Five, lower in your chair. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's come back to face the bar and let's go to the left side. Right leg should be feeling it, okay? Let's give it a break. Left leg forward for those bears 
and right leg will come back behind you and lift. Squeeze the glute, point the toe, option to that band around the thighs. Five, six, seven, eight, down, lift. Two, three, four, five, body at 45. But don't put all your weight into that chair. Nine, breathe, 10. Two, two, point your toe. Four, watch that front knee. Over the ankle. Nine. Ten. Flat back. High as you can lift right leg. Ten. Nine. Can the left knee stay bent? Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. You can. Two. One. Beautiful. Step forward. Give the legs a shake. We're going to go to the other side with that chair. And the right leg will lift out to the side. Batma. Okay? My French, not the best. So that's not what we're here to focus on. Start with your left hand on the bar. Toes to touch. Space between the heels. Tall top. Tall spine the whole time. Send your hips down and back as we find chair. Get low, weight into the heels. And take your right leg out. Point the toe. Level one, hand hip. Level two, hand shoulder. Level three, hand sky. Five, six, seven, eight. Down, lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ten, only twenty, nine, eight, seven, you can, six, lower, four, three, point that toe, two, one, beautiful, nice work, you're just going to turn, so that we have our right hand on the bar. I'm checking time and we are good. Right hand on bar. Start in that third position, okay? Like first, but take your left heel into the right arch of the foot. A little different, okay? We're gonna do a little bit of a change up here, okay? Tall spine, right hand on the bar, shoulders back. You'll bend left knee, point the toes, take the toes in front of right knee, and then take the foot back behind. Have your right arch, or sorry, your right heel to left arch. And back. Up and switch. Here we go. You got this. Make sure you point the toe when it leaves the floor. Tall spine, don't give up. Five, six, seven, eight. Up and switch. Up and forward. Two. Up, forward, three, tall spine, four, point the toe, take it to the knee, five, up and back, up and forward, six, we're at eight, I lied, nine, come on, take that knee a little higher, ten, Lift the toes on that right foot. 10. And forward. 9. Finish strong. Little movement, but it's tough. 8. Remember, you can take breaks, so that's okay. Up and forward. 7. And forward. We're at 5. I keep lying. I'm good at that. And forward. 4. Do it. You can. 3. Up and forward, two. Up, forward, one, back, up and forward. Beautiful. Take a little shake out. One more for you here. Right hand on bar. Take your legs wide. Second position, goddess squat. 
for my yogis. Toes point out, big bend in the knees. We are staying low, tall spine. Get as low as you can. Remember that right hand on the hip to sky, or sorry, shoulder height or sky. If you have a light hand weight, maybe you want to pulse that left hand. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Up to you, because what we're doing, heels up and down, coming back to that releve. We have a few, you're good. Take breaks as you need it. I'm here to push you, okay? So stay with it. You're low, let's get started. Five, six, seven, eight, one, down, two, down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three. Stay low with those hips. Breathe. You got this. Piece of cake, three. Stay low. I can tell when you're coming up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven. High in those heels. Four, three, two, one. Take your heels down, straighten the legs. Woo! Give them a shake. And we're almost done, so let's get to the other side. You got this. I'm sweating, I hope you are. Left hand on bar, facing away. Third position, pizza pie. Take your right heel to the left arch. Toes point out. It's our favorite combo, we have 20, that's what we did on the other side. Tall spine, squeeze your belly in. Five, six, seven, eight. Right toes, back. Knee and forward. Two, back, knee and forward. Three, four, four. Just as high as you can lift the knee. It's not a competition. It's all about you. Six. Tall spine. Seven is controlled. Eight. Small controlled movements. We got this. Nine. I lie. Up and forward. Nine. Lift those left toes. Keep your tall spine. Keep this controlled. Seven. That's it, and we're done. Six. What do you have left? Five. Toes to knee. You got it. Three. Stay with me. Maybe you smile. It's almost done. You'll miss it. One, up and forward. Beautiful, that was it. Give the legs a little shake, because I care about you, I love you deeply, okay? Let's take that second position though, we gotta keep moving, we're almost done here. Gotta squat, toes point out. Left hand stays on bar. Stick as low as you can. Real simple, same options with the hands. Hip, shoulder, sky. Maybe there's a pulse in there if you're on the shoulder. Or even sky, why not? We are taking pulses. Get your lowest and then pulse lower. It's real small. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. And you are officially getting a call to take a sip of water, okay? Now is your chance. Have that sip. Take that wipe down. Because now we are going to meet on the mat. And we are going to continue into that second part of class. Abs and arms. If you have weights, they'll come in handy. Soup cans are cool too. Otherwise, we're just completing the movements. So you'll come down here. We are going to start strong. You're going to love me after today, okay? You're going to take yourself into a plank for push-ups. Now, I'm only asking for 20, okay? So if you need to go from the knees, go from the knees to get them done. That's just fine. If you can go 20 from the toes, 
make sure your hips are not sloping to the floor or your butt high in the air. 20, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Down, up. Two, three, four, five, six. Tall spine, just like far. Seven, eight, nine. Low as you can go. Ten. Ten. Side to side from the knees. Forearms down, 
elbows under shoulders. And we go side to side. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look forward. Just ahead of where your heart is. Three. Four. Come on up. Whew. Give yourself a moment. Maybe shake out arms and wrists. I have one more for you. We're going to come back onto the knees and onto the palm. Knees are underneath the hips. Curl the toes because I have options. Nice flat back the whole time. Spread your fingers. Keep the, keep the wrists under the shoulders. So level one right here. Totally cool. Top right hand to left shoulder, take it down. Top left hand to right shoulder and switch, okay? Level twos and threes, you guessed it. Throw the toes and then you take the knees just to hover. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try to not sway so much. Nine, ten. Keep that flat spine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Take the knees onto the floor. So I have two options for you here. This is where we might really start to utilize weights if we have them or that soup can. So if you do have a weight, okay, maybe you're even level three and you have two sort of lighter dumbbells that you wanna cross, because what we're doing is taking them overhead to work triceps. Dipping down and up. Down, up, down, up, okay? If you don't have the weights, you don't have anything heavy enough, then it's an old faithful. You'll take your butt onto the floor and find some tricep dips, okay? Level one option, knees bent, soles of the feet on the floor, fingers point forward, bend your elbows and come up. Level two is threes, without those weights you can straighten the legs, dip and up, all right? Find your option. For once I'm going to demonstrate with the weights and let's get going. Make that choice. No weight, tricep dip, it's all body weight. We have a few, you got this. Let's get going. Five, six, seven, eight, down, up. Two, three, four, five, six. Elbows to sky if you're doing those dip down. Eight, tall spine. Nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, keep breathing, 7, 6, 5, use control no matter where you are, 3, 2, 1, beautiful, you're coming out of whichever, of, whew, of either option that you took, okay, we're all going to come down onto the sit bones, now again, I have an option for you for those of us that do have the luxury these days of owning dumbbells, okay? So no matter what, we're all going to stay seated, stack pose. Sit bones on the ground, legs straight, flex the toes to the face. We're moving one leg at a time. So if you have weights, arms are going to move with that leg. Right leg first, you're taking it to lift and down. As we do that, it's a little bicep curl, right? Arms and abs, up and down, up and down. Soup cans work too, if you don't have them, then you're going to take just a nice little arm pump, get those shoulders moving, unless you really just like to do the movement without weight, which is fine, you'll just really squeeze those biceps, okay? Really think about that muscle movement. Now let's get going, I gave you a lot of options. Right leg, squeeze the belly in. If you need a little option to lift, 
Bend that left leg, it might help you get the right leg just to hover. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Keep your spine tall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Take both feet down, give yourself a little shake out. So we're going to the left side. Left leg lift and down. If you really want to work biceps, you can do biceps again, okay? But if you have a lighter weight, shoulder press up and down, up and down, right? Again, no weights. You can still press without them, that's fine. Or take palms to face up. Take those pumps, really work your shoulders. Squeeze the shoulder blades. So many options, you just have to pick, so let's go. Left leg only, high as you can lift it, that's all I ask, okay? You don't have to look like me, you don't have to look like anybody. Let's go, flex the feet. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, yes you can, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Tell yourself you can. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Beautiful work. If you had those weights, just take them off to the side front or back of the mat. We are going to come to lay on our backs. I'm checking time. I have a few more things up my sleeves. I'm not wearing them. I know it's a great joke. Get onto your back. Once you're here, level one option. Take your hands behind low back, sacrum area. We are taking the knees into the chest. Let your spine round. Take the hips up and then lengthen the legs out, point the toes. You can keep your shoulders connected to the mat the whole time, that's level one. In and straighten, in and straighten. Level two, maybe hands come out to the side. Okay, you can lift shoulders up, lengthening and taking knees in, really round the spine. Level three, bless your soul. You are maybe working a full V up, okay? Arms overhead, coming up, toes touch. I'm not there, that's just fine, I'm okay with it, all right? Let's get going, knees to chest. Find your level and commit to that movement. We're almost done. Knees in, five, six, seven, eight. Lengthen, knees, lengthen, knees. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, we have another 10, I lied, I didn't mean to count down, keep it going, 2, 1, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, round your spine, into the chest. Beautiful work. One more for you here. Take the feet up to the sky. Straight legs, straight as they can get. Flex the toes to the face. Reach your arms up. Okay? Nice little pulse. Take your shoulders off if you can hover here. Pulse, pulse towards those toes. If you have a weight, level two, three option. Hello, friends. Up and back. It's quick. Let's Start it up. This may be one of few I have time for. I think this is it. So let's finish strong. Reach up, shoulders hover. Pulse, 
five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take the knees into the chest, and from here just start maybe a little windshield wiper, kind of side to side, rolling, massaging the low back. And if you'd like, maybe you're taking little half circles, the knees come to and from the body. We are going to start to cool things down to enjoy a few breaths together. I'll put on a little more chill music here, something more suitable. So from your back, we will take a final twist to help stretch out the core, to help calm everything down, okay? So a couple options, arms into a cactus or a T-shape. You can draw the shins parallel to the mat, to the sky. And then when you're ready with an exhale, let the legs fall over to the left side. You can keep gazing towards the ceiling or you might be able to take your gaze over to the right side if the neck allows it. If you ever feel a tingling in the body, then take the neck back to center. I like to say it's no competition. It's all for you. And you've done beautifully. To come back to center, use an inhale. And then on that exhale, Drop your legs over to the right. Take your twist on this side. Again, gaze can stay center, or you might be able to take your gaze all the way to the left side if the neck permits. Just a couple more breaths here in that final twist, helping to calm the nervous system. If you are ready to move, you're going to roll completely onto this right side. Bring the right arm overhead, bring the left hand in front of the heart. Here's a nice place to set an intention for the rest of your day. Or to at least come back to the intention of why you arrived on your mat today. When you're ready, press up, find your seat, and we will finish off right here. So I have turned comments back on if you have any questions, concerns, feedback. I'll leave that open for a little bit but we will officially close things off for those of us that could join me live this Saturday morning. Tall spine, bring your hands onto the knees. Let's take the palms to face up just for a breath to receive that positive energy. And then enjoy our final breath together. On the inhale, bring the arms up overhead, gathering that positive energy, palms to touch at the top, and as you exhale, take it into the heart, thumbs touch, heart center. At Oxygen, we finish off, so importantly, by making a heart in front of our own. Please feel free to join me in saying, I love my life, shining your light forward. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. And if you're joining me later, much appreciated. You can all now see my sweaty face. Thanks so much, guys, and really enjoyed it. Great way to start the weekend. Thank you all. Remember, keep checking local studios. Get those supplements. We gotta stay healthy. We miss you all. We can't wait to be back in the studio. And then of course, yeah, thank you. Of course, share with a friend. Get them sweating. Let them know how it feels. <laughs> especially if they've never had the chance to try oxygen before. Thanks so much, guys. Love you. Miss you. Have a great rest of your weekend. And I'm out.